If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Dodgeball came out in theaters in 2004, and we've been quoting it since. While it's hard to believe that Dodgeball came out nearly 15 years ago, let's take a second to see where the movie's main players find themselves nowadays. Vince Vaughn was already well-known for swingers and old school when he started Dodgeball, but the film marked the beginning of a new phase in Vaughn's career, that of big-budget, big-screen comedies. The next year, he appeared in Wedding Crashers, which solidified his status as a comedy-leading man. Vaughn's next movies included a number of films that he also helped to write and produce, including The Breakup, Couples Retreat, and The Internship. He also reunited with Dodgeball co-star Ben Stiller in The Watch. Tell me about yourself. I know you got a wife. Do you have any kids? How old? Uh, zero years old. No kids. Vaughn later took up more dramatic work, including a starring role in True Detective Season 2. He also had a supporting role in Best Picture nominee Hacksaw Ridge. His most recent roles veered toward family entertainment, literally. He nabbed a recurring role as Chet Stevenson on the Netflix animated comedy F is for Family. He also had a part in Fighting With My Family, a movie about the rise of WWE star Paige. Ben Stiller has had a varied career as an actor, writer, and director, and 2004 seemed like a watershed year for him. While Stiller was already famous for Meet the Parents and Zoolander, 2004 saw him starring in hits Meet the Fockers, Starsky and Hutch, and Along Came Polly. He has continued to be hugely successful since, lending his voice to the Madagascar series, appearing in the Night at the Museum franchise, and writing, directing, and starring in Tropic Thunder. He also appeared in the Meyerowitz stories opposite Adam Sandler, which got a standing ovation at Cannes in 2017. He also moved behind the camera and into more dramatic work recently, producing and directing the based-on-a-true-story prison break miniseries Escape at Danamora, which earned 12 nominations at the 2019 Emmy Awards. Stiller hasn't forgotten his dodgeball days. He recently organized a charity dodgeball competition for his Ben Stiller Foundation focused around the film. Stiller was able to reunite many of his co-stars for the promo video, which gave fans the chance to play dodgeball with him and his famous friends. The game was played live on Today with the anchors, fans, and Justin Long. Christine Taylor had a solid career on screen before dodgeball. She was best known for playing Marsha Brady in two Brady Bunch movies. Other roles include parts in The Wedding Singer, Zoolander, and The Craft. Following Dodgeball, she appeared in License to Wed and, more recently, Little Boxes. Taylor has appeared in a number of projects with Stiller over the years, including Zoolander, Tropic Thunder, and Arrested Development. And with good reason. The two were married in 2000 after meeting on the unaired pilot Heat Vision and Jack. The pair announced their separation in May 2017. Luckily, their split was amicable, so we can't rule out them working together again someday. Justin Long earned himself a concussion from his character's inability to dodge a ball, but he also earned himself pretty lofty status in Hollywood. Dodgeball marked one of his earliest roles, following small parts in Galaxy Quest and Crossroads, but it was just the start for the young star. He starred opposite Lindsay Lohan in Herbie Fully Loaded the following year. From there, he starred in a number of comedies including The Breakup and Accepted. He moved into action territory with Live Free or Die Hard and went back to horror with Drag Me to Hell. He also lent his voice to the Alvin and the Chipmunks film trilogy series as the titular troublemaking rodent. The role he's best known for, though? Playing Mac in Apple's Get a Mac ad campaign, which ran from 2006 to 2009. Stephen Root unleashed his inner Hulk as Gordon in Dodgeball. Best known for his playing Milton in Office Space, the veteran character actor has kept busy since Dodgeball. Shortly after the film was released, Root appeared in the romantic comedy Just Friends. Root has found himself in small parts in many high-profile films. The actor has appeared in No Country for Old Men, Selma, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, and more. He also had a part in the hit horror film Get Out, playing gallery owner Jim Hudson. Root has also had an extensive career in television, appearing on True Blood, 24, and Boardwalk Empire. In the 90s, he also gave life to two iconic TV roles, Angry Boss Jimmy James on News Radio and Sad Sack Bill on King of the Hill. In 2018, he landed the role of Monroe Fuchs, handler and mentor of the titular character on Bill Hader's pitch-black hitman comedy, Barry. For his work in the show's second season, Root received his first-ever Emmy nomination. Joel David Moore had an adorable love affair with the other team in Dodgeball, and has continued to charm audiences with his sweetness. Dodgeball was one of Moore's earliest roles, but he quickly followed it up with Slasher Hatchet and the much-maligned The Hottie and the Naughty. 
Moore has also been a consistent television guest star, appearing on multiple episodes of Bones, Medium, and in a supporting role on the short-lived ABC drama series Forever. Pure gold, 24 karat, unalloyed. Lucas, please. Sorry, sorry. You may also recognize him from his music video appearances, with the actors starring in videos from Fall Out Boy and Katy Perry. Moore's most notable role to date was as Norm Spellman in James Cameron's Avatar. He'll be kept busy for the next few years with the role, with Moore set to play Spellman in all four of the planned Avatar sequels. Chris Williams was already an established actor when he played Dwight in Dodgeball, and he continues to be a popular actor today. Williams followed up the film with guest appearances on shows like Reno 911, Monk, and Weeds. Williams landed recurring roles on shows like Californication and Curb Your Enthusiasm. He recently starred as Eddie on The Great Indoors, which was canceled after just one season. He also appears on Silicon Valley as Hoover, the loyal assistant to evil tech boss Gavin Belson. You'll recognize Steve the Pirate if you're a fan of sci-fi, as actor Alan Tudyk was already well-established as Wash in cult hit Firefly. Not long after Dodgeball, he played Wash again in Firefly sequel film Serenity. Tudyk has had many high-profile roles, with appearances in 310 to Yuma and Transformers Dark of the Moon. And in the final season of the Netflix zombie comedy Santa Clarita Diet, Tudyk replaced Firefly co-star Nathan Fillion in the role of Gary, a decomposing, disembodied head. You also heard Tudyk as the droid K2SO in Rogue One A Star Wars Story. The actor has some prolific pipes, lending his voice to huge films like Frozen, Zootopia, and Moana. Gary Cole played the straight man of the dodgeball commentating duo as Cotton McKnight. While you've likely seen Cole elsewhere on the big screen, most famously as Bill Lumberg in Office Space, you're more likely to have seen him on the small screen. He's had a prolific career as a guest star on TV shows like Supernatural and 30 Rock. He's also had recurring roles on Entourage, Suits, and Veep, the last of which got him an Emmy nomination. Cole is also a well-known voice actor, who has had prominent roles in properties like Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law, Kim Possible, and Bob's Burgers. Jason Bateman delivered some of Dodgeball's most memorable lines in his role as commentator Pepper. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. The outlandish part was a huge departure from his most notable role as straight man Michael Bluth on Arrested Development. Few actors have racked up as lengthy a TV resume as Bateman, who landed his first small screen role in 1981 as James Cooper Ingalls on Little House on the Prairie. He earned two Emmy nominations and won a Golden Globe for Arrested Development, but he won an Emmy in 2019 for directing an episode of the Stark crime drama Ozark. He also stars in the show as money launderer Marty Bird. Bateman also has many major movie parts, including starring roles in the Horrible Bosses series and Game Night. The late Rip Torn portrayed mildly mad dodgeball coach Patches O'Houlihan in Dodgeball, but Hank Azaria played the character as a younger man in a training video. Azaria has been a major part of some of the biggest and funniest shows and movies of the past three decades. He's been a utility voice actor on The Simpsons since its inception, portraying, among others, Chief Wiggum, Moe, Carl, Superintendent Chalmers, Comic Book Guy, and Quickie Mart proprietor Apu. In 2017, he turned Jim Brockmeyer, a baseball announcer he played in a Funnier Die sketch, into a full-length sitcom from IFC called Brockmeyer. We have run out of cheeks to turn, people! We're fresh out of them! Azaria also portrayed Gargamel in two big-screen Smurfs movies, while enjoying a recurring role on Showtime's Ray Donovan. While dodgeball isn't a real professional sport, filmmakers managed to keep the playing sequences as realistic and above-board as possible. Portraying the tournament referee in the film's climactic showdown, we've got Al Kaplan, an actor and real-life minor league baseball umpire. Kaplan called balls and strikes for a decade as an official before turning to acting. He first played, what else, an umpire in the baseball movie Talent for the Game. He followed that up with small parts on episodes of The X-Files and the sports-themed sitcom Inside Schwartz. He also did commercials for Toyota and Nike. He played the Memorial Field umpire in 61, an HBO movie about Roger Maris' home run chase. At least he got to call something other than baseball in Dodgeball. Following that high-profile gig, he was named the head referee on NBC's short-lived revival of American Gladiators. 
following small roles in SWAT and The Rundown, Dodgeball was Jamal Duff's third movie, and the actor played Michelle Jones, Dodgeball monster and loyal second-in-command to White Goodman. Duff strikes an imposing figure in real life, too. The 6-foot-7-inch actor played as a defensive end and defensive tackle in the NFL in the 1990s. He also played for the Los Angeles Extreme, league champions in the old XFL's one and only season. And in the 2000s, he decided to give acting a shot. After Dodgeball, Duff booked dozens of roles in movies and TV shows, often playing bouncers, guards, or just general tough guys. This includes a security guard on Future Man and tough guy number one on an episode of Fresh Off the Boat. His most high-profile work to date is a recurring role as Zeke on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the brother-in-law of Terry Jeffords. Like her on-screen dodgeball love interest Justin Long, Julie Gonzalo was well into her 20s when she portrayed a teenager, specifically cheerleader Amber. Around the time of Dodgeball's release in 2004, Gonzalo played a lot of teams, such as in Freaky Friday and A Cinderella Story. In 2006, Gonzalo scored her biggest early career role as Hearst College student Parker Lee on the third season of cult classic Veronica Mars. Gonzalo is also well known for her role as Pamela Rebecca Barnes on TNT's Dallas sequel series, along with guest star gigs on series ranging from Castle to CSI Miami to Grey's Anatomy. Gonzalo landed one other major role on a short-lived show, playing attorney Maggie Decker in legal dramedy Eli Stone. Even if you've seen Dodgeball hundreds of times, you probably wouldn't be able to pick Missy Pyle out of a lineup. The gorgeous actress made a huge transformation for the part of Globo Gym player Fran, going from blonde to dark brunette and adding in a unibrow for good measure. Since Dodgeball, Pyle has gone back to her normal self, but she's had good luck as a character actress throughout her career. Shortly after Dodgeball, Pyle played Violet's overbearing mother in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. She later appeared in Gone Girl and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Pyle has popped up all over the small screen, including appearances on sketch comedy show Inside Amy Schumer, Netflix original Weighty Dynamite, and CBS primetime anchor Two and a Half Men. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.